Previously on Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. Um, Billy, I think I see someone over there. Uh, for the last time, David, there's no one over there. But, Billy, I'm pretty sure I see the prisoner over there. No, there's no way the prisoner could be here, okay? Just calm down, okay? Let's just search this other area over there. Billy, I, I think he has red hair. I, I, I think I recognize him a little bit. That might be the prisoner. Nope, I don't see the prisoner at all. Let's hurry up and get this done so I can, like, go home and, like, drink some cream soda. Wow, these guards are so competent. And now back to being the Crimson Lord. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jurabi Therian bringing you another episode of Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play this game. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. I fangirled a lot in the last episode. Like, first, Adol was transformed into this, like, a red and black demon and such, like a uh, velvet from Tales of Assyria. Then, like, you know, like, this game and all of his, like, you know, art and, like, you know, story and everything. I'm, I'm really, really excited to let's play this game, guys. You, you do not understand. Whoops, I kind of, like, yeah, damn it. Again, I, I'm very excited to, like, play this game and hopefully I don't, like, trigger a cutscene. Thank goodness. Okay, so uh, in the last episode, uh, basically, we got introduced to this place that's called Balduke Pool. Balduke, I think? I think that's what it's called. Balduke City? I don't know the name of this, uh, town, but I know something about Balduke. I know that. But then, like, Adol, like, got accused of some things, and, uh, he got imprisoned and arrested. Well, let's see, arrested and imprisoned. And, you know, like, he was going to be sent to the Empire and everything. All because of what happened in, like, East 8, right? I'm sorry, I keep getting these, like, Roman numerals wrong. He got sent to prison because of what happened in East 8. You know, the whole thing with the, uh, you know, the tree god and everything. Well, actually, I think it's the tree god was called a Lacrimosa or something. I don't remember what the name of that tree was. But that tree caused, like, you know, the end of Donna's uh, people and was going to end all of humanity. And I did, like, like, you know, went back and tried to figure out why exactly they had a problem with what Adol did in that game. And I found out, and I can't believe I forgot about this, but, like, everything in, like, uh, Lacrimosa of Donna was forgotten by the rest of the world. The world doesn't know about Donna's existence, or her people, or what happened to them, or why we, you know, like, fought against the tree god. All they know is that, that like, the ship got wrecked, and ended up on that island. That's all it is, and we we managed to escape. Only Adol and the party members at the time remember Donna, but everyone else, they don't know about her. So I do understand why they would arrest Adol if that's the context behind it. Like, they, they, they don't know that Adol saved the world, basically. They only know that he was there when the ship got wrecked. As for the other game, like, the other Ease game that they mentioned, like, Celsita or something, I don't know what the context behind that game is to even, like, know if they arrested Adol for a good reason. Even then, even if I do know the context, I still don't think that's a good enough reason to even arrest him. So maybe it's the case that maybe someone higher up in the Knights know about Adol and want to get rid of him because before it becomes a problem? I, d I don't know why they would just arrest him like that if, if it weren't for the fact that maybe someone's pulling the strings behind us. That's my theory anyways. What also happened is that we met this girl and I didn't notice it until now. Apparently she has like a robotic arm and leg. Or at least I think it's a robotic arm or leg or maybe it's prosthetic or something. It's not necessarily robotic or anything. But I just noticed about that about the girl. I, I think her name was... Amelia or something? I have to check back at the journal real quick. Oh, what was her name? I think we met her, and I think that's enough reason to, like, uh, yeah, here it is. Aprilis. Woman with false limbs. An opposing woman with false limbs and willful eyes. Her bullets gave the Monstrums their gifts. Oh, I see. So, yes, we did become a Monstrum then. Interesting. So, we became a Monstrum, but what exactly is a Monstrum? Like, are we demons or something? Or are we, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but mm, man, man, Adol is so sexy. Mm, I want to I wanna just, mm, please. Virgo, 42. Oh, wait, uh, what's her age? Question mark, question mark. Adol is 24, surprisingly enough. That does not look like a 24-year-old as like a regular form. Oh, well. Born in a Balduk prison, a Roman serviceman who leads the garrison in pursuit of the Monstrums, principled and duly respected among his men. 
yeah, there's also the, the character notes too, and my and my goodness, guys, like, like, like the art of this game is just so fantastic, and I I love it. I love it so much just watching all this art and everything. I do think like Lacrimosa's art was a little bit better. I don't know what it is about this art. It's, it feels a little bit like, mm, I don't know, it feels a little maybe maybe less detailed or something. Then again, I'm not an expert on art, so what am I talking about? And this dude, this dude is like super speed and everything. Chatelard, 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 I forgot how his name is pronounced. Hieroglyph Knights, Master and Commander, Leader of the Military Order of the Church, working with the Roman garrison to safeguard the city. He detains the wanted Adol. Hmm. And Interrogator, yeah, the lady who kept bugging me about questions about like ridiculous stuff like. <laughs> I'm sorry, this this, I, this lady was like really like all in. And I, I have a feeling that she is important to the later plot. For some reason, I don't know why, but maybe she'll become a relevant character later. A woman assigned to interrogate Adol, skeptical of the paranormal and dogged in her probe into Adol's adventure. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. And Adol cursed Kristen, that's his name. I thought it was Kristoff. Adventurer Crimson King. Detained in Valduk as a witness to the disappearance of the Roman fleet. He was granted a gift by the monstrous cursed disappearance of the Roman fleet. What are you talking about? Actually, uh, was, were the Romans like referenced in Lacrimosa of Donna? I don't remember. They probably were. So yeah, oh, I see this more to the journal too. Uh, let's see, story. Uh, let's see, prologue, prison escape. To keep going, I need to make use of my gift. Yeah, that's basically it. I, I bet that these are just like, uh, you know, what do I do, or if I get lost and everything. Chapter 1. Montrums of Balduke. We should inquire about the inspection. I should search around my cell. I can make my- Yeah, I feel like this is just like a what to do situation in case you like leave the game for a long time and you don't know what to, what to do. Even though we have like a exclamation marks on the map so we don't get lost, I don't see the point of this. I don't think this is worth it or anything. Okay, uh, monsters, a ratu, a belligerent species of rodent that favors enclosed spaces. They can swing the spike growths on their tail at will, using them to relentlessly assault any who dare invade their territory. I don't know why it has a, like a giant spike tail. The news, gelatinous, 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 gelatinous creatures that make their home in the darkness. They weaken their prey with the spikes pro protruding from their bodies before eating them. Wow. And a Plutoad, the larval state of an amphibious monster. They relentlessly seek sources of fresh meat to sate their rapid development. Ugh. And a Meritoad, a gigantic malformed toad that lurks in the underdrain. It intimidates prey with its massive body before finishing them off with a sharp tongue. A tongue was sharp? Didn't look that way. There are a lot of bosses in this game. And there are like two more enemies I didn't see in the depths for some reason. Okay, so I forgot to mention this, but uh, the last episode was kind of weird because my OBS didn't record, unfortunately, the first like half of the episode. So I had to like restart it, and you know, like in the first recording that I did, I had like a, a thick hide or something. But here, I think I got something better. So a faint drop and a dark drop. Faint drop, a mysterious liquid that emits a faint soft light and a dark drop, a mysterious liquid that resembles the darkness of the night. Yeah, so I don't have the thick hide, so I'll read on that when I get the chance. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to like uh, explore the town and everything, so let's get started on that. I think it's like a chest up here, I think. How do I, how do I get up there? I have no clue. Oh wait, hey, they're talking. What will become of the peace and order of old Duke? I have no clue. Do they all talk? Only a select few talk. Let's see. What's this? Ball Duke visitors Koisk. Old man Gwendo. Oh, this is an old man, okay. The knights were more up in arms than usual today. Did the monstrums show up again? Alex. Hmm, maybe just a regular voice. Last I heard, some guy broke himself out of prison. It's all anyone's been talking about. Make sure you stay safe out there, okay, Gramps? I don't care about that. Just give me my food and I'll be, like, on my way. Alright, Alex. 
where, wherever you are. Oh, hey there. Sorry, but I'm actually helping old Grams over here right now. Am I waiting a bit? Thanks. And by a bit, I mean like maybe five episodes later where you unlock my shop. Thanks, dude. Thanks a lot. Now, this is treasure chest up here. How do we get up there? I'm betting that... Hmm. Like, when I saw the trailer, I, I saw, like, we could, like, like climb up buildings and something. Not entirely sure how that works. Jeanette. What? Sparkle, sparkle! Okay. Jeanette, right? That's Jeanette. Okay. Ooh, so this is it! Baldu, the prison city! Thanks again for escorting me here, Mr. Hunter. Don't mention it, but you really should try to be more careful. Careful is not even in my dictionary. You said that you were a merchant from the country, right? How in the hell did you end up lost in the forest for three days with a map on you? Well, I don't know. Well, you see, I got myself a pretty good intuition up in this noggin here. But actually, I don't have anything in there because I'm an idiot. I'm not the type of girl that follows things like maps and paths. What a weirdo. Forget maps. I can't read her one bit. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be important later, like a merchant character, right? Or like, I'm gonna buy stuff from you and everything? Hunter Reno. I really don't get this gal. She's loud and weird, all in one. There's a lot of people I need to talk to, I think. How do I open up the map? Here it is. Okay, let me like uh, head down this way or something. Custodian Vesta. Hey, dude. You're the one who didn't help me at all. Being a custodian in Balduk is no small undertaking, but since I love this town, I have no qualms about it. I only hope that travelers like yourself will look upon this city with untainted admiration. Yeah, untainted admiration after I just got put into prison for the most stupidest reasons I can ever think of. What in the world is this? Is this a barrier? Oh, okay. Five flower. Ooh, flower. Flour ingredient heals 10 HP. High quality flour with few impurities. Mm. Few impurities. Okay, so what is this like barrier here? Like, why is it here? Now that I think about, it, oh, what's that shiny thing over there? It's like a blue shiny thing. Is this place actually bigger than the? Like, of course, this place is bigger. What am I talking about? Of course, this place is bigger. But then, my question is like, why is this called the prison city? Why would anyone want to live here if it's a prison city? Oh, hey. Perhaps I'll get some groceries for our supper at the marketplace. I like how the NPCs are, like, talking, you know, like, out loud and stuff. It's like, I should probably get some groceries at the supermarket that I'm heading to right now! Okay, Lee, you didn't have to, like, shout that out loud. Like, seriously, my ears are bleeding all the way from here. Are these two gonna talk? No, nope, don't, don't think so. Now, who... Oh, hey. This city is really huge. Is that the prison way over there? Way over where? Whoa, that's a big tower. Ben, that's gonna be like a level or something. It's a cathedral. I have no clue. This dude's here. Oh, you're there. Stake your business. I'm just gonna be on my way then. There's a treasure chest behind this dude though. Hmm. Is that like there's something here too? Oh, here, graffiti. Throw those monstrums into the clink. They deserve it for disturbing the peace. New graffiti discovered. Hmm. Does this add anything to my turtle or something? Downloadable content? It's like, eh, nothing much here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's some stuff here. Jeez, there's a lot of, like, lore. Like, thank goodness that they put it here instead of just the, uh, loading screens. Probably will need to read all of them. That's gonna take a while, but hmm. Might as well do it now, because like in like Horizon Zero Dawn, I didn't read any of it. But thankfully it's not as like long here. Balduk, the prison city, the principal city of Gilea Erdlingen, a province of the Roman Empire. It earned its titular epithet from a massive prison. Ah, I see. Okay, so it's not just the fact that it's just a big prison. Like, the city has a prison that's renowned or something, and that's why it's called the Prison City. Still don't know why you would name it a Prison City, but okay. Roman Empire. An enormous empire that maintains supreme hegemony over much of the Eresian continent. After it occupied Galia, it split the territory into four regions, installing a government general in each. The 
Hieroglyph Knights, a religious order of knights tasked with maintaining peace and propagating the word of the Hieroglyph Church. They defend Balduk along with the Roman garrison. Ah, I see. The Hieroglyph Church, the official religion of the Roman Empire, though its doctrine is one of peace. It conducts its missionary works all throughout Eresia, with the following just as strong in Balduk as it is in other regions. Ah, I see. Balduk Prison, the largest penal institution in the Roman Empire, a renovated fortress, its structural complexity and high presence of the Roman Empire and hieroglyph knights make it escaping it virtually impossible. Okay, here it is. Gifts. Superhuman abilities. After transforming Adol with her magic bullets, Aprilis dubs his Crimson Line. I wonder why. Adol Kristen, a young man with black eyes and blazing red hair. A self-proclaimed adventurer, his exploits throughout the Erusian continent, Erusian, er er sorry, I thought Erusian because Ace Combat, have given him a wealth of knowledge and experience. Even though I keep like going back to level one every single one of these adventures, doggy, doggy, doggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep thinking about doggy when I see his name. A former thief from the Asteria region, this wanderer has been Adol's partner since their adventures in Ease. Known as the Wall Crusher, his amazing strength lets him shatter rocks and walls with his bare fists, even though he's not a party member for some reason. But at, least he's, at least in the last game, I don't know about the other games. Warden Belger, a Roman army serviceman and warden of Baldur Prison. He had been performing inspections for a missing person's case before placing Adol the Red under arrest upon learning his identity. Hmm. This seems to be like giving extra info about the characters for some reason. I don't know why they didn't put it in the people's area. Chatelard, the virtuous master and commander of the Gillian Hieroglyph Knights. He personally escorts Adol to the prison after Belger detains him. Is this actually what they say in the thing? Yeah, it kind of is the same except like with different people or something. I don't know why that is like that. The Interrogator, a female interrogator assigned to Adol during his confinement. Highly suspicious of Adol's previous exploits, she has no qualms about hounding him for details of his adventures, even though I literally just told you that I did kill a tree god. I did, I know I did, even though the rest of the world forgot. Inmate 212, a man confined to cell beside Adol's in Baltu prison. Thanks to his aid, Adol manages to escape before his transfer to the Roman Empire. Aprilis, a mysterious woman with a false arm and leg. She appears before Adol as he is escaping the prison before suddenly shooting him with a magic bullet that didn't kill him for some reason. Imagine if that bullet did kill him and like she was trying to like help us. Whoops! I that was the wrong bullet. I kinda killed him. Well, we're kinda screwed now. He was our only hope at like escaping this place. At least I think that's what she wants to escape this place. Inmate ID numbers. Those confined in Balduk prison are managed and referred to as a unique number assigned to them, rather than by name. Adventurer. The title Adol received during his adventures in Silcida from a winged man named El El Deal. Since then, Adol has always referred to himself by his moniker. Oh, I see. So, in the previous games before Celsita, what was he called then? Was he called anything? Prison Inmates. Though all inmates at Balduk Prison are currently referred to by a number ID, criminal identities and charges used to be made public until a few years ago. I'm betting that it's because of the fact that maybe they were trying to use this as some kind of like sacrifice or something? Like, I'm not sure. Like, maybe they're trying to like they get these people together in one place or something for for some reason i don't know what but something about that prison just makes it seem feel like more than just a prison prison guards the prison guards patrol the grounds at regular intervals pay close attention to their routes and proceed quietly to avoid de detection i'm not even inside oh, okay the crimson king the name aprilis bestowed upon adol after transforming him with a magical bullet as the Crimson King, Adol finds he possesses a newfound superhuman ability. Which is sweet! Alright. That's all the lore. All that lore. The front gates are under heavy watch. Best not to go near them for now. Dang it. Yeah, that's the way out, isn't it? That sucks. Alright, time to head on this way then. I don't think there's anyone else I should talk- Oh, yeah, this girl. The peddler in- Inne. I don't even know. I came all the way to Baldu to sell handicrafted trinkets from my hometown. Now that I've blazed some trails, it's time for me to make some sales. Okay, good luck with that. Where are you off to in such a hurry? <laughs> what? Uh, dude, I just like nicked by you. Wait, can I actually hit these characters? 
Wait, what happened there? What happened? Did I just like knock into him or something? Can I like knock it run into these characters? Oh, I can! That's neat. I didn't I didn't know I could like run into these guys. Like BAM! Scared me there. <laughs> wow, I can actually like ram into them too. Oh, oh my gosh, can I like ram into this woman? Please be more careful. Ah, I see. So if I run into them, they'll say something. That's nice. Can I like run into the person people want to I can't, okay? I, I thought I could like run into people sitting down. That would be nice. What's this way? You should stay and collect some more information around here for now. Uh, I want to explore. All right, well, let's uh, look over here for a bit. There's some people over there. Talk to gentle old woman. Dr. Eric always makes sure to give my care his fullest attention. <laughs> I just hope he's ready to hear another spiel about my poor back. Ah, it really hurts. Talk to youth. My grandma here has a bad back. So I'm coming along with her today. We'll have to ask Dr. Eric to brew her some more medicine, too. What a waste of my Sunday. Yeah, very cute. Oh, another graffiti. Master Chetlar is Gilia's pride and joy above anyone else. Honored to be the Hieroglyph Knights. What are these graffitis for? How much more is there to this place? I don't think about it. I don't know. There's that direction, but I don't think I can like head over there. Oh, a treasure chest, I think. Can I go? Can I get to it? Is it down there? Oh, it is down there. Yeah. Okay. Can't go that way. Well, I searched every nook and cranny of this place. Now to get on with the main story here. What will those monsters stir up next? What is this? Uh oh! I see Adol on the wanted poster. Well now, it appears someone's managed to break out of the prison. That's no small feat for someone without the Mushroom's powers. Huh, I'd wager that the robots are feeling pretty hot under the collar right now. Then, this red-haired criminal is on the loose? He may very well be a vicious murderer. How frightening. Perhaps he had something to do with Cardinal Lin... Lin... Haim. Lin Haim? I don't know. Disappearance. They say it was the Mushrooms who abducted the Cardinal, though. Then again, I'd just as quickly believe the Romans fabricated that rumor themselves. People blame the monsters for just about every silly li little mishap these days. It really sucks. Speaking of monsters, didn't one show up in the main square just yesterday? Sure did! It was a white cat! I saw it with my own two eyes! Aw, oh, sweet. Kitty cat monstrum? That's sweet. You did? Wow! What I wouldn't give to catch even a glimpse of her! And the pet her! And love her and everything and give her food. Man, having a cat is the greatest thing, I swear. Is that the prison? Uh, yeah, that's the prison, I I'm betting. Oh, what? What is going on? Did I just teleport? Oh Jesus. Mind your surroundings, Crimson King. This place has become the cursed land. The Grimwald Knox. Grimwald Knox? <laughs> Grimwald Knox? What are you? Grimwald Knox? It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscure. For you, it is the front line of battle. Come forth, my monstrums. And consume this dark night. Oh, hello. White cat reporting in. <sighs> Hawk, present. This had better not be another waste of time. Oh my God, you look like I gotta like your design, dude. Doll here. Good day. Raging bull. I'm raring to go. Wait, who's that voice actor? Who is that voice actor? I, I feel like I know him. I know them somewhere. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I do. <sighs> renegade. Let's get on with it already. Yeah, Renegade for life, man. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this my, gonna be my, my party members? I did see them, like, on the title screen a little bit for the PS4. Ooh-wee, I do like the cat girl. Can I pet you? Meet the Crimson King. Now there are six of you. We have Wait. a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. 
My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Wait, wait, wait. Is this... Is this Aiba's voice actor? I have a feeling that she is. I, I have a feeling. And oh my goodness, you have the big tits there, lady. Raging Bull is also peculiar. Who are you people? What are we getting on with? <laughs> Who are you people? Like you. They are monsters. They use their gifts to exorcise the monsters that infest this realm. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. Okay, but why would you, like, put this upon us? You literally shot me with a bullet. I'm betting that you did the same with those other six. I mean, five. You'll obey me here on. Or you'll regret. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. <laughs> One day I'm gonna kill her. Yeah, this is like I, I thought the same thing. Man, what a bitch. <laughs> you, my, you and I think the same thing. Uh, what was your name? I think Hawk or something. Yeah, high five, Hawk. I don't like it any more than you guys, but this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? Guess so. Monsters, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheath your curse and smite the darkness. What was the point of that? And then Hawk's like, don't mind her, she just likes to do this all the time. It's kind of strange. Oh, okay, I, I see. This is another level. Terranian Valley. Ooh, a pillar, a crystal pillar. So, what's this crystal for? That's one opulent crystal. Uh, so, what's this crystal for? This is a scene. I don't know where what happened to the voice actor, but okay. This is a scene. It plays a key role with dispelling the Nox. But pay it no mind for now, Crimson King. Go, harness your power as you see fit. Okay, what voice should I give the Hawk? Hmm. Maybe I could give like the uh, what was his name from Horizon Zero Dawn? I forgot. Blondie. Like I called him Blondie all the time. I think it was like Boss or something. I think. All right. Enough with the pump. Just tell them to slaughter whatever comes our way. And you, uh, Raging Bull, that's her name. I'll, I'll give her, like, maybe the Iba voice? Maybe? Or maybe the Neptune voice? I, I'm kind of overusing that a little bit. But let's see what we can do. All we have to do is buy it enough time like always, right? That is correct. Focus your efforts on expelling the foes before you. Okay, the white cat. Uh, let me think. Like, maybe, uh... Okay, maybe the Neptune voice might work. Got it! They'll probably end up going after us anyhow. And doll. Hmm. Maybe like a vert voice or something? Like, I don't, I'm not sure yet. The enemy fast approaches. Let us move. Alright. Can you get into my... Oh my god, she's... Actually... Oh, never mind then. What a weird. Oh, okay. We're just fighting. Are they all gonna fight with me? Or is it like I have to choose my party? I, it has to be the case I'm gonna choose my own party. There's no way. Oh, okay. Let me get some kills, please. Nope, yeah. Getting past me. A serpent. Ah, man. This is like a really fun mode. Oh, ouch. This is a really fun mode in like Black Mosa's Donna. Ow. Oh, can I, am I still healing? I think I'm still feeling. 
Why am I self healing though? That's my question. Is it, my... Is it this world or something? HP sustained rate, 18.4. So give me another wave. Yeah, final wave. Get started. Oh, we need to get some money though. It's important. Oh god, what is that? Slay the Lord of the Night. Hey, I gotta kill this dude. There we go. Man, that was a, a bit giant Cerberus dog monster. That was cool. Anything else? Nope, okay. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, so what was the purpose of all this, lady? Well, it was just to do whatever. Lemurous extermination. Save decoy bonus. Okay, so there are decoys in this game. This, like, this is this mode was kind of fun, even though it was kind of a bit challenging. After a while. <laughs> S rank. Expect no less from all of you. Quiet a marl flower. Two copper oil. Two aromatic lumber and two small leaf. First time rank bonus, one life elixir, two sweet remedy, one black flag, and one iron ore. One tempest elixir, one faint drop, one thin hide, and one light shell. Good. It seems the Grimwald Nox has lifted. You have much potential, Crimson King. Your power will be useful in banishing the darkness in the days to come. Why would I, why was I chosen? Why are we doing this? Um, that's, these both seem to be like really good questions. Like, yeah, why are we doing this? It might be the case that like the monsters might get out into the real world if we don't stop them. I'm betting that's the case. We're kind of like monster exterminators. So why does like the the city hate us then? Why was I chosen? What? Why indeed? Uh, lady, you shot me with a bullet. I'm pretty sure you can answer this question. If you seek the truth about the curse, first unveil the mystery of Balduk Prison. Uh, what? She didn't answer at all. Maybe it really is the case that they were planning on doing something to me. Oh, hello there, guys. We've returned to the city. Typical. Hey, guys. I I, I expected to like get you guys one by one, but if you guys are all here with me, then it's gonna be fun. Leave it to her to scurry off as soon as her dirty work's done. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go home. I'll be leaving too. Uh, guys, oh, wait. Oh, um. Hello, let white cat. Uh, can, I, can I pet you, please? I'm guessing this is a regular thing for you all. When will the next Grim Wall of Nox appear? I'm guessing this is a regular thing for you all. Um. <laughs> you got that right, new kid. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I'm. Well, I'm not confused, but it's like. Okay, like I'm get I'm suddenly thrusted into this like weird conflict and everything. I was just like a regular adventure like like for like a day ago. But you're out of luck. We don't have the answers you're looking for. Yeah, we pretty much don't know what's going on. We keep asking that bitch lady and she doesn't talk at all. We still don't know why we're even fighting. Nor what those monsters are. Nor why the Grimwald Knox comes. Yeah. And what's with those magic bullets? Yeah, like, seriously, she could have killed us with them! Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one thinking this. She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. Yeah, she's probably a loner. A loner soon, Derry. 
And we can't leave the city either. You can thank the curse for that. You're kidding me, right? When she calls, we fight. We're nothing more than puppets. I wonder who the voice actor of these people are. Like, I know, like, uh, Raging Bull's voice actor, but what about the others? I'm having a feeling that I might know these, like, voice actors. I'd rather be Monster Chow than be stuck another month in this dump. Yeah, I love this city, but there's only so much to do around here. Hey, got me! Like, we could have, like, a party, like, a welcome party. You know, like, I might treat, even though I don't have much money on me. Hey, look, they're on the roof! Oh my god, he's serious. Mama, is that a monster? <laughs> is that a monster? It's, it's monstrum. Shh, it's rude to point. Oh, wait a second. Are those all of the monstrums? Wow, we are so good at being, like, hidden. Like, oh my. <laughs> I thought we were going to be the fan of these of this, like, uh, game. But apparently we're not as stealthy. Yeah, but I count six of them. Is the red one a monstrum, too? Oops, we've been made. <laughs> the new kid's outfit sticks out like a clown at a funeral. Hey, you're one of the Tark Hawk, okay? With your blue, cool-looking outfit. We should disperse before someone calls the Roman soldiers or the knights. Very well. I shall take my leave then. Okay, I'll go too. Bye, guys! But what about our victory celebration? Uh, we don't really care about those. Alright, I'll get you guys in my party one at a time. We're gonna do this the long way, I guess. Yeah, I'm, oh, oh, hey, Dogi. Oh, okay, keep going. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you after I heard you escaped from the prison. Am I glad I found you before the soldiers did? Wait, how did you recognize me in this outfit, but the others don't? That makes sense. But I guess, like, we knew each other for a long time. I, I'm guessing that's why. I was looking for you, too. A lot has happened. I was looking for you too. <laughs> that right? I'm just glad you're okay. You can tell me what happened later. Huh? You look. Yeah, I know. Blue. I miss my red hair so much. Ah, never mind. Just imagining things, I guess. What does he know that I feel different or something? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, now that you're a fugitive, you really shouldn't be out here. Did you find him? No. We've looked everywhere, sir. <sighs> we can't let all six of them get away. Call for reinforcements. I want at least one of them in custody. Thanks to those monstrums, soldiers will be everywhere. We better find somewhere to lay low for now. Okay, what was I trying to say? I kind of forgot what I was about to say. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm better like the other, like... Five have their own like uh, unique like uh, you know um, what was it called like their outfits and when they're not in mushroom form. You led Doki to the abandoned building where you have been hiding. You explain what happened at the prison. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. So uh, basically, you got turned into a demon monster. By getting hit by a magical bullet that should have killed you, and now you met these five weirdos, one of them being like a big titted bull, and the other being a hawk, and the other one was a weird girl, and a, the other one was a white cat too that she wanted to pet and everything. Yeah, that, that definitely is a lot to take in. So that makes you one of those monstrums? Pretty much. A prison with monsters in the basement, a mystery woman with false limbs. Curse that won't let you leave the city. Yeah, this is definitely a new adventure here. Like, this is like nothing that we've encountered. Can't say I understand it all, except the part about being stuck here for a while. I'm sorry this keeps happening to us. It's a heap. It's a heaping serving of mysteries. I'm sorry this keeps happening to us, dude. Okay, I, I thought Lacrimos O'Donnell was going to be the last time, but no, nope. We gotta deal with this crap. Much of an apology coming out of a wily smile like that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? 
you goofball. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I really love this game. Anyway, before we can do anything else, we're gonna need a hideout. Isn't this technically our hideout? The basement of this abandoned building, at that. Even though they're probably gonna check it at some point. A hidden entrance like that would make coming and leaving a lot more discreet. We can fix it up enough to sleep here. Then we can talk about a plan. Wait, but won't the guards check behind the shelf, though? I don't know. Let's not question it too much. Good idea, Doki. Thanks. I'll help you. I'll help yeah. you, dude. Sorry, Adel, but you gotta stay put until things cool off out there. Ah, oh, okay. So again, he's gonna be like a, my manager or something. Like he builds this place up again. And with that, the mysteries of Balduk beckon a new, unexpected adventure. Aprilis, who casts a curse upon you, and the mushrooms who share your gift. Each peculiar event unfolds one after another in this town known as the Prison City. After you finally settle down to sleep, you reflected upon the events of the past few days. Before long, you fell fast asleep. Chapter 1. The Mushrooms of Balduk End Hope the chapters aren't this short, because that would be kind of disappointing if they are that short. Now this is a hideout fit for a monstrum. Ain't much to look at now, but we'll spruce her up like new. Gotta get her up and running so you can get to the breaking of that curse. Until then, you're stuck killing monsters for who knows how long. It's gonna suck, I know. The way I see it, the other mushrooms are more keen on keeping to themselves. One of them steals on a moral high ground. The other thinks the city is a giant cage match. They're not trying to break the curse? Maybe they've given up on breaking the curse. They're not trying to break the curse? Or maybe they just think their gifts are some kind of godsend. I don't. Well, actually, I do look kind of hot when I'm in my monstrum form, so I, I, I think it's a godsend. Just wish there was a way to contact them or that Aprilis lady. Something else has been on my mind. Is it the prison? Is it, is it the Hieroglyph Knights? Them too. But don't you think there's something fishy about that prison? Aprilis herself said there was a mystery to be solved in there. And what's the deal with that prisoner in the cell next to you? Not to mention that creepy maze of a basement crawling with monsters. Wait, what about the the dude who helped me escape? This, I, I didn't think there was something odd about him. Like, he seemed to be a nice guy. Don't tell me that he's the mastermind behind all of this. That'd be crazy. You ever heard of any prison like that? Only thing I can think of is that it's not just a prison, or that it wasn't always one. Hmm. It is interesting, isn't it? Either way, it's a dangerous place. It is interesting, isn't it? You're not thinking about going back there after just escaping by the skin of your teeth, are you? Well, actually, I kinda am. No two ways about it, Adol. Looks like our next adventure is already on the way. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, with a running start. Yeah. <laughs> These are getting interesting. Who knew there'd be an adventure here? If you're really planning on looking into the prison, then there's something you need to know first. I heard a rumor that the prison's got a frequent visitor who knows a lot about it. Works for the local big shot establishment called the Pendleton Company. Then we should speak with them. Is it close by? Sure is. You can find it in the central district, north of the main gates. Could be a waste of time, but hey, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. One more thing, Adol. On the off chance that Aprilis was bluffing about that curse, won't hurt to see for yourself whether you can leave the city or not. I bet you that is, that is the case that we can't leave. Okay, you know the plan. Just keep your head down out there. I will, I will. Chapter 2. The White Cat's Melancholy The White Cat's sad. Aw, I don't want it to be sad. Journal page updated. People. Hey, Dogi. Mm. Well, we better dig in if we're going to be stuck here a while. I'll get the essentials. I'll leave the information gathering to you, Adol. The Pendleton Company is in the northern part of the Central District. Just keep your head down. Oh, it won't hurt to see what happens if you try leaving the town. Just so we're sure. I'll probably die. We don't know what'll happen. Okay, so let me like check the journal then. We got a lot of new stuff here. Monstrums. 
supernaturally gifted individuals of Balduk who go by the names of White Cat, Hawk, Doll, Raging Bull, and Renegade. They gather in the Grimwell of Nox to exterminate the monsters infesting it. But I'm betting you're going to be party members soon. You better get into my party, guys, okay? I like you guys. The White Cat, a monstrum of Balduk as swift and nimble as her name implies. Her deeds circulate the town in whispers, though her reputation among citizens is far from poor. Hawk, a monstrum of Balduk whose skillful blade work shines through his twin small swords. Crass, impatient, and bellicose, he regularly antagonizes Aprilis and the other monstrums. Dahl, one of the monstrums of Balduk, keen and astute. She conducts herself in battle with an uncanny manner one could only describe as superhuman. I see. The Raging Bull, the Big Titty Cow, a monstrum of Balduk who fights by swinging an enormous warhammer with ease, despite having the physique of an average woman. And the Renegade, a monstrum of Balduk who snidely considers himself a puppet to the curse. He carries a wizened air about him, despite appearing to be a young boy. I see. Wanted posters. In addition to Adol, five other individuals referred to as monstrums has, have descriptions and rewards posted on the town bulletin board. These wanted posters have become the talk of the Bald Duke. Let's see. Cardinal Lane Lindheim, the Governor General of Gilean Eldergen, the province the province in which Bald Duke is located. He is presently missing, sparking rumors that he had been abducted by the Monstrums. I'm betting that he wasn't. But then, like, maybe he wasn't kidnapped and he's somewhere else entirely. Maybe he's in that world or something. Monsters of Grimwald, uncanny creatures of the Grimwald Knox that resemble monsters rather than beasts. Aprilis claims it is a monstrum's duty to expel them. And the Monstrum's Curse, a curse that prevents monstrums from leaving Balduk and forces them to fight in Grimwald Knox for their gifts. The truth behind the curse supposedly lies somewhere within the prison. Huh. They can't leave Bald Duke, so it must be the case that maybe something about Bald Duke Prison is causing this Grimwald Knox or something. I'm betting that must be it, because if this is a worldwide thing, then there will definitely be more monstrums, but there aren't. There's, there's just the six of us. Hmm, interesting. Alright, people. The White Cat, a monstrum as nimble and leaf as a cat. She appears in town often and is well known by its denizens. Okay, Hawk, a monstrum with a yen for provoking all he meets. He lives to fight and will brandish his twin swords at the slightest impulse. Doll, a monstrum with an appearance as impeccable as her name suggests. Her eyes are always closed. Really now? That's interesting. I was wondering like, like if, if she was ever going to open her eyes, but she didn't. Wait, does that mean that she like uh, fights with her eyes closed? That's impressive. Raging Bull, the big titty cow. A monstrum who wields a giant hammer has accepted both the curse and her duties in Grimwald despite her grievances. Let's see. Renegade, a monstrum clad in ragged vestments. Despite his youthful appearance, he speaks in a remarkably mature manner. Doki, the Doki. Oh, there's affinity in this game too. Oh, I, I, I love the affinity system in the game, man. Like, it allows you to like interact with characters and like learn more about them. I am going to love that part of the game. Wandering Strongman, Adol's adventuring partner of many years. After being with him for so long, the supernatural doesn't phase him at much anymore. Yeah, I know. We, we fought gods together, man. Okay? Like, we shouldn't really be worried about this situation we're in right now. But it is strange, though. Like, these five seem to be my party members for the game. They seem to be that way. But Aprilis doesn't seem like she's going to be in our party for some reason. Even though in the last game, like, Donna was able to get into our party. But here, I guess, like, Aprilis isn't going to be a, like, a party member? Maybe, like, a guide or something? Hmm. Okay. That's kind of a disappointment, but I I'm willing to take it. Okay, so there's nothing much here, is there? Also, by the way, guys, uh, I started the game over a little bit. I didn't have much to do. And I went to hard, because I might as well just do that. You know? I don't think I have much to fear in this game and everything. At least, hopefully. I don't know how hard this game is going to be, but might as well just give myself a challenge. Okay, but seriously, I feel like the guards are going to check behind this place and check this place out at some point. There's no way they're just not going to, like, leave this alone.
Man, this place really sucks. The prison city of Balduk seems to be much larger than you expected. A map might prove useful for navigating the city. Thank goodness. Map menu. Press the right directional pad to open up the map. Press triangle to switch between the regional map and the area map. Regional map. Displays the whole of Balduk and its surroundings. Area map. Displays a selected area in detail. Moving the cursor along the map will display the info about the current selection. Exploration updates and the following information. Story objectives. Undiscovered landmarks. Treasure chests. Relief tiles. Exploration and treasure discovery race. I see. That'd be nice to... That'd be nice to... Use. But first, you should head to the main gate and confirm whether or not you can leave. Will do. Okay, uh, landmark. Another landmark. Try to leave town. There's 68 treasures here. Oh, okay. The, each area has a section then. There's four treasures here, six petals, and three graf graffitis. Graffiti. There's one here. Can I, like, uh, set de destination? It says set destination, but I can't even do that. Here? You can do it there, but not here for some reason. Okay, here it is. As the sylvan bird retires to his nest, the field-born flowers retreat into the summer. Good night, my darling babe, swaddling in the gleam of the stars above. May your dreams ever be sweet. Why are they letting, like, graffiti be drawn on the walls here, not doing anything about it? Okay, so it should be a treasure chest here, and something here, question mark. I bet that's a store opening. Hey there, Alex. Hey, a uh, fresh face from out of town, I take it. This here is the Ball Duke Visitor's Kiosk. Kiosk, I think Kiosk. Can I interest you in a tour to the city? That'll spoil the adventure. Any spots for the next prison tour? Yeah, any spots for the next prison tour? In that case... Haha, <laughs> you're a real jokester, you know that? We may be the prison city, but that doesn't make the place an attraction or anything. But still though, you have a prison that makes you famous. Isn't that kind of suspicious? Yeah, well, we don't care. Still, there's something different about you. I can tell. You just might be the right guy for the job, in fact. What job? I swear, if it has something to do with, like, killing monsters, I'm out of here. See, for the visitor's kiosk, the, the info we have to offer has gotten a little outdated. All of us employees are locals, so we're kind of lacking an outsider's perspective. We like to pinpoint exactly what makes Balduk appealing to his travelers, like you. Oh, for the love of, why do I have to do this? What I'm getting at is, if you happen on any landmarks that really just speak to you, I'd appreciate it if you come and speak to them right back over to me. Sounds pretty interesting. You trust my judgment on this? I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of an idiot. Sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. Glad to hear you so eager about it. But I'm having a feeling that it's going to take you the entire Let's Play to do this one mission. Good luck! You wouldn't be walking away from this empty-handed, of course. Well, actually, you will be, because I won't give you any rewards for this. This is just like a side mission for, you know, just for the sake of it. Yeah, thanks a lot, dude. We can offer you a reward for every, oh, let's say, three landmarks you discover. Alright. Scenic locales in and around Balduk are marked on the map as landmarks. Locations you can record as landmarks will have a shining circle of light nearby. I see, so, Fountain Plaza. This green triangle, discovering landmarks will automatically update their map icon. Ah, so like in the last game. Reporting landmarks. Report discovered landmarks to Alex at the visitor's kiosk. Alex is seeking info on scenic landmarks found in and around Balduk. You can report to him at the visitor's kiosk by the main gate. Question mark, undiscovered landmarks will be indicated by this icon. Landmark icons will update when discovered. Why am I on top of a giant tower in that picture? Alex will offer a reward for every three landmarks you discover, so make sure to report in as you find them. Alright. Okay, I see the rewards? Uh, talk. Rediscovering Balduk's appeal would make me happier than just about anything. So if you find any landmarks that catch your eye, make sure to come back and report them. Oh, and if you've got any questions about the city, feel free to ask. I'm not manning this visitor's kiosk for nothing after all. 
You know, I kind of need your help to do this, but whatever. Okay, report landmines. Good work out there. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was voice acted. Looks like you haven't found anything too noteworthy just yet. Yeah, good job not doing anything. You are so reliable, you know that? Yes, I know. I am very reliable. Well, actually, no, I don't really care about you. Let me know what you do, alright? Actually, help me, okay? Okay, okay, sorry. I, I thought it was kind of funny that he said, Good work! Oh, oh even though you did nothing. <laughs> okay, anything else? I still can't get to that treasure chest up there. You can't say anything different? Come to think of it, it seems that White Cat is still up to her thieving antics. As for the Hawk, he scours the streets for people to fight. Distressing rumors, indeed. What's more, they say the mushrooms perpetrate the, these crimes using supernatural powers. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? Not too crazy. We're kind of used to it by now. Ah, I see. What the? Master Chet Lord is so dreamy! Mmm, so hot, man! We're gonna get geekity tonight! Okay, lady. Who are these two? Talk to patient. Now listen carefully. Oh yeah, Dr. Eric. I think that's the old dude, I think. Now listen carefully. You'll need to take two days of rest. And don't forget to take your medicine exactly how I told you. I will. Thanks, Dr. Eric. Hello, Dr. Eric. You want to give me some, like, uh, potions and such? Okay, never mind. Guess it's not available yet. Oh, I just noticed. Like, the icon on the, uh, the knock thing, it looks like it's gonna be a full moon or something coming up. I don't know how the whole, like, uh, Grimoire, like, Nox world works, or how, like, does it work the same way as the, the primordial invasions in the last game? Like, uh, once it activates, you, you have the option to do it, but only a limited time? I'm, I'm guessing that must be it. Okay, talk to Peddler Inhe. Welcome! Welcome! Okay, yes. uh, what do you have? Leather necklace. Enhances the radiance of one's vitality. Maximum HP 150. Ooh, I could, I could use that. Actually, change equipment slots. Okay, there it is. Slot 2. A blade ring. Awakens one's combat instincts. Strength plus 10. Shield earring. Protects its wearer. Defense plus 15. Ooh, I could use these. Oh, maybe next time. Okay, so talk. Our store deals in local tradition and self-sustainable, handcrafted Gillian trinkets. Even the Pedalson Company buys from us, a testament to our quality and selection. Um, lady, these things look kind of like they're from a, a dollar store. What? Uh, no, they don't look like that at all. Uh, they're just, uh, they're just hand-me-downs. Don't worry about it. I don't know, lady. This ring looks like it's going to fall apart the moment I buy it. Oh, you worry too much. Please, I insist. Alright, and then I just like buy it, and then the moment I like uh, walk at least like 10 steps, the ring like just explodes in my face. Ah, I knew it. That lady can't be trusted. Not in the slightest. Don't believe me? Pick one up and see for yourself. Obviously, not trying to swindle you of your money or anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that should be it, right? Okay, items Life Elixir. Base max HP plus 100. Ooh, neat. Sweet Remedy. EXP plus 100. And Tempest Elixir, level plus one. I see. Okay, this is the things too. A medicine that, when taken by the Monstrums, awakens their latent vitality. Sweet Remedy. An ancient remedy that grants a sweet experience. Tempest Elixir. A secret remedy that contains the experience of its maker. And Black Fig. Revive heals 100 HP. A, a preserved fig brimming with ripe, delicious nutrients. Oh, a black fake. I thought it said a black flag. Should be it, right? Seems to be it. Oh, thin hide. Flexible, thin beast hide. A light shell. A light, if fragile, beast shell. Simple to process. Fluorescent fluid. A mysterious liquid that shines dimly in the dark. A small leaf. Clenching this fresh leaf produces droplets of water. A aromatic lumber. Lumber that has a pleasant, balming smell. Easy to process. A moral flower. Plant material. Rank plus one. A pink flower whose nectar restores fatigue. Now that I think about it, like, in the last game, there was this lady who gave us a lot of money. Like, where's our money? Like, why didn't that carry over into this game? That would have been nice. Copper ore. Mineral materials. A lump of ore partially composed of copper. Iron ore. Quality iron that can be forged into pure steel. A map of Balduk. A map of Balduk in a surrounding region. 
Terrain is recorded as areas are traversed. Neat. Anything for DLC? Nope. I'll probably like save those items for later. I don't want to like use them right now. All right, let's see if we can like leave town. It's a monstrum. Oh, where? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see any monstrums. No, nope, not in slightest. It's the hawk. He's causing trouble in the main square. Ah, of course, hawk. What? A monstrum? If I remember right, the warden despises the hawk the most. I'd rather not get in his way. He's psychotic. And hot, too. Don't be a coward. We've got our job to do. Still, he's really hot. Security at the front gate seems to have lessened. How convenient. Thanks, hawk. Okay, what? Oh, never mind. Alright, let me see if we can leave. Ah, can't. A magical barrier spontaneously appears, pushing you back with a powerful force. Thankfully, it didn't kill me! The curse must be preventing you from leaving the city. <laughs> oh. Ouch. oh, hello there. Uh, I am so, so sorry. Who are you? Are you okay? I mean, I didn't hurt you, did I? Wait a minute, is that Coppa's voice actor? I'm having a feeling that it is. I don't know. It feels kind of familiar. I'm fine. You seem distracted. I'm fine. Yeah. Thank goodness. I'm really sorry about that. I've been having a hard time at work. Oh no. Sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. I'm feeling that this is, this is like Compa's voice actor. What kind of job is it? All right, working at your age? Uh, what kind of job is it? Uh, um, well, but I have to be going now. Sorry again. What if I can see her in the journal? Wait, is it is it a part of the Peloton Company? I'm betting that she'll be there. You decide to head to the Peloton Company in its central district. You reach the central district by heading north from here. Okay, dash. I already know how to dash game. What are you? What are you smoking? <laughs> Let's go. I'm sorry. That was kind of funny to just see her like, oh, do you not know how to dash? Yes, I know how to dash game. It's a simple concept. Gosh, these developers have no faith in us gamers at all. Such a disgrace. All right, guard. What are you up about? Does that feral hawk really plan on striking again? In broad daylight? I'd go stop him, of course, but I can't exactly leave the gates unguarded. Even though I kinda let you through a little bit earlier, but whatever, don't, don't, don't mind that. Man, these guards are so reliable. Okay, so ask around at the Peddleton <laughs> Company. So it's that way, right? Yep, that way. There's a lot of stuff there, too. Still, Trish is here, too. Mm, I wanna see it. Peloton Company. I think that's new. The Peloton's family business in most premier training firm in town, based in the northern side of Balduk Central District. Some of its members are rumored to break the prison. I see. Hmm, so it's a business. Maybe they're like funding the prison or something? Maybe. Central District. Among the establishments lining its streets are a Roman-run trading company and cathedral, as well as the largest tavern in town. Residential areas extend into the district's posterior from the city roads. I, I see. I see. Oh, okay. These these monsters from the other worlds. I forgot about them. A terry lux. A type of lemurus that rides upon a floating orb. They can unleash azure flames from their skull-topped staffs. They drop a faint drop in fluorescent fluid. A garguleo. A type of lemures that resembles a stone gargoyle brought to life. They find a sort of triumphant pride in tormenting their prey with their spears. Lemures? Hmm. And a, a snipper. A snurpent. A type of lemures as flexible as snake, quit witted and agile. They derive great pleasure in toying with their victims. And a givandan, a Cerberus demon. Ferocious three-headed canine lemurs. They are thorough eaters, ravaging prey with sharpened fangs, before licking them clean, all the way down to the bone. Ah, man. 
kind of dangerous. What are these things? Like, lemures. Is there, like, something about them that we don't know? Kind of interesting. Anyways, guys, I think that's a perfect time to end this episode off. Man, I'm really excited to play more of this game, man. Like, like so far, I'm really interested in the story and the characters and everything. Like, so far, I really like my party members, or at least my future party members. From what I can see, from this list alone, I think, like, Hawk and the uh, Raging Bull are my favorite so far. Like, sorry, like, Raging Bull, pink hair characters, like, obviously, she's, like, top, like, waifu so far. Doll, I really like her, like, design, too. And White Cat, I think her design is really cute. Like, I really want to pet her and, like, love her. Then there's Renegade. I'm very interested in what kind of story he has. Like, all these characters so far, man, I'm really excited about this team. Now, comparing them to the party members of the last game, I'm not too sure. But I'll have to wait until the end of the game before I come to my decision about whether I think this team of characters is better than the Lacrimosa Odonna team. Because the Lacrimosa Odonna team, like, they had, like, Donna and, like, I, I forgot their names, unfortunately. There was just that one dude who was all about the delivery and everything. I kind of forgot his name, too. Then there's, like, the green air girl who was such a cutie and everything. Then there's, like, the buff dude who was, like, all about fishing and pirates and such. And then there was, like, the orange hair lady, too. I I'm sorry, I just, I just forgot their names, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'm very interested in what the plot has going forward. And in the next episode, I'm going to head on to the Pelton Company and ask around about what in the world is going on and everything, about the prison and everything. And what this other world and demons and all that. I figured that we are, like, maybe we are demons in some way, shape, or form. Oh, hey, this thing too. Several wanted posters are displayed on the bulletin board. It's a strange feeling seeing your face up there as a criminal. Other posters depicting the peculiarly dressed monstrums are also displayed. Hmm. It is strange. Like, they, like... It seems like they have control of their monstrum powers in the- Actually, yes, it, we, we do have, like, control over our monstrum powers in the real world now. But do they have, like, their regular outfits? I'm, I'm better that they do. So we might see them in their regular outfits in the normal day-to-day -day lives. But we'll just have to wait and see in the next episode. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of East 9 Monstrum Knox. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I promise you that this Darien will be around for the next episode of East 9 Monstrum Knox. I'll see all of you guys later. Bye bye.